This is Tracy Marshall from Travels with Tracy, and we are traveling through the Middle Ages. With each podcast, we explore new and exciting destinations specifically for mature travelers. That is, travelers that are between 35 and 70. That's my specialty or what I like to do the most. These travelers are more into relishing their time than staying at budget hotels and partying all night. I enjoy people who want to experience where they are, be it an adventure trip, let's say whitewater rafting in Costa Rica, or those who enjoy the cobblestone streets of a quaint French town, sitting in a cafe and enjoying fine wine and cheese, or hiking to Machu Picchu. Those are the people I identify with. Guten Tag, welcome back. This is Tracy from Travels with Tracy. Um, Our last session, we were talking about river cruising, specifically a Viking river cruise. Um, I am here with a very good friend, Joanne, and she was explaining about the river cruise itself, what to expect, etc. She was fortunate enough to go on the Rhine getaway with Viking River Cruises last October. So it's been fairly recently ago, and she's explaining kind of what to expect on the ship itself. Uh, So, Joanne, if you don't mind continuing, can you just kind of tell us what maybe a typical day on the river with Viking would be like? Well, every night while we were having dinner, they would put the agenda for the next day on our beds in our cabins. So we knew what time we had to get up if we had a morning excursion to take so that we could be ready to go at a certain time and meet at the main lobby of the ship. Um. We had three different places where we could get breakfast on the mm-hmm. ship. We could go get a lot, very light breakfast. Some people did and brought it back to their cabins. We always enjoyed going to the main dining room where they had – you could go through and choose what you wanted. They had – chefs were right there cooking breakfast for you, for your choice, and it was always delicious. Then we would meet – get prepared and meet the uh, tour director in the main lobby, get our tickets so that we knew where the phones were and that we had left the ship. And then we would go out and meet the tour bus. Then after our tours, we had free time. You could stay in the city and, and look around yourself to see what you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. At a certain time, we'd meet the bus. We would come back then to the ship. You could come back and have lunch if you wanted to. If you wanted to stay out and find your own lunch at a lovely cafe or a little street vendor, you could do that. And then in the evening, there was a cocktail hour, and everybody was down. Now, on these ships... You do not have to dress for dinner. You can come down in your travel clothes. A lot of people wear jeans. Uh, the only night they ask us to dress at all was for the captain's dinner. Mm-hmm. And that was not, it was just, the ladies just wore slacks and fancy tops. Um, dinner, you had a choice. You were given a menu and you had a choice of what you wanted to eat. And uh, your drinks be it coffee, wine, whatever, with your dinner was in the price of your trip. Okay. Now, at the cocktail hour, you had to pay for those. Those were extra. But um, it was just absolutely wonderful. And after dinner, they would have either entertainment or uh, games, or you could just sit and talk. And you knew you had to go to bed at a reasonable hour because you had to get up the next morning. We also, when we took our tours, we all had headphones. And we were responsible for those. When we got back from a trip, a tour, we had to go back to our room, plug them in, make sure they were charged, Mm. so that the next day you were ready to go again. Okay. That's so, and if it was raining, they met you at the lobby and had lots of umbrellas. They also met you at the lobby with bottles of water so that you could take them with you out on on your tour. Um, and the buses were beautiful. 
And the only thing that they did that we don't do here is the bus driver would stand up and say, before this bus leaves, would you all please fasten your seatbelts? And everybody did. Mm Mm-hmm. I see. Well, it sounds lovely to me. I'm ready to go. Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, Sounds good. But unfortunately, we have to end this session now. But we will continue with the Rhine Getaway. Joanne as our wonderful guest, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks for traveling through the Middle Ages with me. I would love to continue this conversation with you, so just head to my Facebook page at facebook.com Travels with Tracy. I have a link to my page in the podcast notes. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. When you do, my podcast can automatically upload to your smartphone. Safe travels!